What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a what? For a chance to win a shout out in the next video. That is right, guys. So today we are going to be basically finding out if your boy has ever cheated in the past. You want to tell them what's going on today? You better not have cheated. So I today, ain't cheat. I know I did. We are going to be doing a video called Cheating versus Not Cheating. We've been doing a lot of videos like this on TikTok. So if you're not following us on there, go ahead and check those out. We've created a lot of controversy in the comment section. With these videos wouldn't you agree <laughs> yeah a lot it's bad <laughs> it's really bad so I have a series of questions that I'm going to be reading off and basically Isaiah and I are going to be determining if the scenarios are cheating or not cheating right so guys like she said we're basically gonna be saying not cheating cheating and we also want you guys to drop the comments down below let us know what you think is cheating versus not cheating enough talking guys let's get right into it what is the first scenario kissing someone else on the lips even oh. if it's like a kissing game all right see now you're going too deep into it a kissing game yeah or kissing someone in general if it's a kissing game it's not cheating oh really it's not cheating if it's a kissing game if we're all playing a game it's not cheating oh. if you're saying so the, the question says is cheating is it cheating to kiss someone else on the lips? That, yes. If it's a game, we're all playing a game. No, it's not. How? How is it not? It's You're the one game. that threw in the game situation. It does not say game. You threw that like in. Like suck and blow. If you like accidentally That sounds like, so wrong. But that's the, the game. That's what it's called. Like if you accidentally like spit out the, the thing. And if you it's a game, somebody. if it's a game, it's not cheating. We're all playing the same game together. It is not cheating. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. All right, keep it in okay. mind. Keep it in mind, but don't do it. Oh, don't do it, but keep it in mind, right? You threw the game situation in there. That's all I'm saying. The next question is, to kiss someone on the cheek, is that cheating or not cheating? No, not at all. It You're... depends who it is. What is that? How? So I'm going to do... That's how people sometimes greet each other. They oh, kiss so on the cheek. if I go up to my ex and give him a kiss on the cheek... You shouldn't be nowhere near your ex. Point blank, <laughs> period. Saying, like I said, it depends Point on blank, the scenario. Point blank, period. No, it doesn't matter. You, you shouldn't be around your ex, period. But no, kissing someone on the cheek is not cheating. Okay. Did you put up your answer? Yeah, I did. What'd you say? I said not cheating. Okay. Is it cheating to message other people on dating apps? That is cheating. Cheating. That is cheating. You are looking for someone else at that point. You are cheating. Mm -hmm. Is flirting with a cute stranger cheating or not? See, now this is where it gets tricky because what's good. You know, I'm not even going to get too deep into it. It's cheating. Yeah, that's cheating. You I'm, don't flirt with anybody if you're in a relationship. I was going to say, what's considered cheating? Because a lot of people will say talking to another person is considered like flirting. Like, no. You know, you know what you're doing. Like, if you know your intentions and you know you're flirting and intentionally doing so, it's cheating. That's why I said cheating. This is a good one. Sharing a bed with someone else even though you're not doing anything sexual. That is not cheating. That 100% is not cheating. That is not cheating. Not at all. Unless it's like so the opposite sex. So, what do, what do you think they're talking about? It doesn't specify. Obviously, it's like with someone that you... Something that's going to cause problems. So you'll be good with me sleeping with another guy in the same bed. No, I wouldn't be good with it. But <laughs> exactly. is, it considered, is it considered cheating to me? No, it's not cheating. Now, if you do anything with that person in bed, that's cheating now. That's a whole different ballgame. It's not anything sexual, but you can, like, cuddle and stuff. Nah, bro. Nah. Nope. That's cheating. All right, then. You were that's not cheating. cheating. But I don't... Next question. Mm. Next question. This is why this this is why this video causes a lot of controversy. Okay, is hugging someone else cheating? No, it's no. not cheating. Unless you go down and you know squeeze the butt. All right, that's a little extra. That's how I hug you. Okay, sending someone else sexy pictures. Okay. Cheating or not cheating? That is cheating. I love how you wait for me to put mine up and then you put yours up. No, you've we done do that, that every single time. time. No, nope, you've done that every single time. I just you... want to see your answer because I already know mine. Cheating. That That's is cheating. cheating. That is cheating. Mm, point blank period. Having intercourse with someone else. That is obvious. Word. That is obvious. I'll smack <laughs> you right now. <laughs> no, obviously. <laughs> duh. It's cheating. Like, duh, no brainer. Is it cheating to hook up with someone else while you and your significant other are on a break? On a break? Mm -hmm. Does that mean like you guys are broken up temporarily? Like short, like what like does on it? a break. All right, so all right, let because me try to think everyone's about this. Uh, perception of a break is different, and I think that's why people get into arguments okay. when people are on a break. So let me. I'm gonna put this in like us mm -hmm. so if we were on a break mm -hmm. and you start talking what was the question if you what is it cheating if you hook up with someone else while you're on a break mm -hmm. okay um technically it's not cheating 
I agree, not cheating. Technically, it's not cheating. Like, you're, we're not together, we're not together, so I can do whatever I want. Yeah, but we're gonna, if we get back together, there's gonna be some words. There's yeah, that's words. all. But <laughs> <laughs> is texting your ex cheating? No. Not cheating. That's not cheating. That's not cheating. It depends what you guys are talking about, though. Because yeah. That's different. That's a whole other ballgame. But in general, texting your ex, that is not cheating. Yeah, like, I feel like we had a scenario like that recently. Yeah, we're not going to get into it, though. <laughs> if you guys want that story, we'll make a story time. No, about we're not. It. Anyway. <laughs> Next question. I want to make it a story time. Obviously, For what? You can see who's under pressure here. For what, though? I'm not under pressure. I just don't want to air out their business like that. Moving on. If you've been seeing someone but haven't officially said that you're exclusive, would it be cheating to hook up with someone else? So, I have, like, like a sneaky link, and then I'm hooking up with someone else at the same time? Yeah. Bro, if we're not officially together, it's not, not cheating. cheating. If we're not officially together, I could be a hoe if I want to be a hoe. Period. <laughs> okay. Who she thinks she is? What? What? Are you mad? Because I have the same answers as you? You think I think it, like you? You, you start like to think a like a guy and I'm not liking I it. I always <laughs> have. What do you mean? Anyway. Spending long hours on the phone with someone else every night. That's a little skeptical. I'm going to yeah, say that's I'm cheating. Yeah, I'm say that's cheating. That's a little skeptical. You're building a bond with someone else. There's feelings involved. Yeah. Why are you on the know. phone so many hours at night? Right. That's that just, sucks. There, there's something there. There's something there. Okay. Next question is to tell someone else that you have feelings for them while you're in a relationship. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we all know why you don't. <laughs> that's cheating, bro. That's cheating. Like, that's messed up. Well, I mean, that answers that right there. <laughs> have I cheated in the past? Yes. Have I cheated on you? No. <laughs> I guess I have cheated in the past then. People are going to hate you. I've, I'm being honest here, man. I'm being. I'm not going to lie and sugarcoat anything. That's something I've done, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be... I, it's cheating. I've, yeah. I've cheated in the past before... If that's what you want to consider a cheating, you know, confessing your feelings for someone else. But you guys don't know the scenario because yeah, I didn't do anything with the girl or anything like that. Like, well, you were the girl. Really? Why'd you have to say it? <laughs> no, think about it. Think. Yeah. Wait. Hold on. I'm confused. Yeah, I was, but like, I told but you I had feelings for you. You didn't tell me you had feelings for me. You didn't cheat. No, because I did, bro. I was like confessing my feelings for you and everything while I was still with this other girl. Oh well, then you cheated. That's what I'm saying. That's that's what I said. I, but right, at I the same whatever. time, if, to be fair, she cheated on him first. But I didn't know at that point. So yeah, I so. cheated. I, I cheated. Confessing my feelings is cheating, I guess. I cheated. She actually did something with someone else. Yeah. So, so ho. <laughs> oh, all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Anyway, moving on. I guess I, yes, I have in the past. If you want to consider that cheating, yes. But anyway, oh, this is getting too personal. Sliding into someone else's DMs. That is, that is not cheating. I think that's cheating. That is not cheating because I can simply be sliding in their DMs to ask them a simple question. like. No, you? like sliding in someone's DMs means sliding in someone's DMs. Like you on some flirty shit. So no, it doesn't say that. It just says sliding in someone's that's DMs. That's what sliding in someone's DMs is. Like no, to you can slide in, No, you can slide in someone's DMs to simply ask them a question. Like, no, yo, where'd you get that? Like, where? Where'd you get that? I want that. That looks cool. Like, that's not sliding in someone's DMs. Sliding in someone's DMs is making a move, duh. Like, sneaky link. I stand by my choice. Okay, and I stand by mine. And we'll not see cheating. what they feel about it. Not cheating. Okay, next one is hanging out with your ex. Is that cheating? Is it just you guys solo? That's not specified. If it's just you guys solo, I'm going to say that's cheating. That's fishy. Why are you with your ex I don't alone? Think, I don't think that's cheating. Oh, so if I go hang out with my ex alone, that's not cheating? No, I don't think so. You if, heard it here, if, bro. If you're here, you, guys, you heard it. You no, heard it here listen. First. If you guys don't have feelings for each other anymore, and you don't it's think to that's like sus? Out, I'm saying if this is the scenario that I'm thinking is not cheating. It says hanging out. Okay, hanging out. Like we chilling. If, okay, if you guys need some to squash some beef. There's no squashing beef. We're hanging out. We're chilling. We're past that. We're, we're hanging out. We're having a good time. We're at the park, you know, having a meal together. That's cheating, then. See, what, see? See? That's cheating. All right, fine. I changed my answer. Cheating. All right, all right. You almost got caught right there. Caught how? I don't know, but you almost got caught. I don't know. I just feel like if you need to, you know, air shit out with your ex, I don't think that's cheating if you need to hang out and, like, gotta get be all that frustration out. That, that question got to be worded differently, though. Yeah. If someone else kisses you and you don't tell your partner about it. Oh! 
That's a good one. That's bit. What? How is that cheating? I didn't do anything. It's cheating because you didn't do anything, but first of all, somebody else kissed you. Yeah, someone kissed you. And okay. you know, why are you keeping it a secret, though? Why am I keeping it a secret? I, I'm not keeping it a secret. It's just... It is keeping it a secret. Why would you not tell me that? I guess I'd tell you. I don't know, but I don't think that's cheating. I physically didn't do anything. Like, if a guy came up to kiss you, I wouldn't say, yo, she cheated on me before. I'm just going to knock the guy out. You didn't cheat. He just tried. He, he's being slick. So at that point, I'm going to knock him out. So, but how would you know if someone te if someone kissed me or not if I didn't tell you? All right, I guess I can see where you're coming from. Okay, okay. it's still not cheating though. Wow. I feel like that's different though. Like, I feel like you have so to has tell- has someone kissed you before and you don't tell me? No, no one has kissed me before. Okay, but that what fight. I'm saying is the action itself is not cheating. Whatever, that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Over these questions. What the hell? This is so weird. If your partner is in a coma, by the way, this one's the last one. Ooh. If your partner is in a coma and may not wake up, if you hook up with someone else, is that cheating? Yes, because even though that person's in a coma, they're still alive and you guys still haven't broke stuff off. So that is 100% cheating. And not, I feel like that's grimy. Like, yo, my partner's in a whole coma and I'm out here hoeing around. Honestly, that's grimy. Though, like... Let's switch it up. Let's switch the situation up, though. Say, like, the person was in a coma for, like, five years. I'm going to be by your side for the five years. I'm not going to go. I, I know where you stand. I know where you stand. I said cheating, too. I'm asking her what your I, perspective it's would It's cheating. I, we physically, we, we never broke it off. So that is cheating. And I feel like that's grimy if my person is in bed because they're in a coma and I'm out here hoeing around. Yeah, I agree. I wouldn't do that to you. You better not because when I wake up from that coma, it's, it's, it's game time. It's game time. <laughs> that is it for today's video, Infinite Fam. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys put your input down below. This causes a lot of controversy. It's honestly kind of funny though when you start to read through the comments. But if you guys want a part two to this and you guys want to see us go at it again, make sure you guys comment down below. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. With all that being said, it is time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Manuel Rivera. Shout out to you, bro. We got the same last name. You know what to do. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you guys gotta do is like comment share and subscribe and turn your post notification bells on so you're notified whenever we post a new video and with that being said we'll catch you all in the next one that is right